Hello, I'm Lena. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to clean your dip pens for calligraphy. So here back again to show you how to clean your uh, dip uh, pens. Well, um, you have to know that when you uh, buy your uh, dip pens, uh, they are very shining, they are very new. Uh, since uh, you use them for f even for first time, you will never make them uh, as uh, you receive them uh, from the factory. Uh, so shiny and so uh, nice uh, view because uh, you know you dip them into the ink and the ink uh, stuck on into onto the pen the dip pen so um, you know it has all these colors uh, on uh, the dip pen but anyway you know uh, these the dip pens are not to use them forever you can use it most of the times four or five times so okay <laughs> you don't have um, to uh, shine them so much and clean them so so much so, I have here uh, the dip pens, I have an old uh, uh, toothbrush or a new toothbrush if you buy from a, uh, a supermarket. Uh, I have a pot with water, which it looks like it's, a cl it's a clear water, but because I use this pot very much to clean pens, um, it's, it looks uh, black. Um, I have a, um, a napkin here and also I have, this is for dish washes, uh, liquid, but you can use also a hand uh, liquid, soap, uh, whatever you want, um, doesn't matter. So, when you write with uh, your pen, or your dip pen, uh, and you finish the, the project you do or the practice you do, then you uh, uh, pull off the dip pens from the handle and you put your pens into the, the pot with the water and uh, I add some uh, just some uh, uh, spots uh, with uh, liquid in here Well, the good is uh, to uh, let um, uh, your dip pens about one quarter, half an hour. Most of the times I forget, I forget my pens, my dip uh, nibs in here uh, for one day, uh, for until the next day. So I destroy them. Be careful. Do not uh, uh, let your uh, dip pens in the water a uh, much hour because then um, uh, you, you will destroy them. Uh, your uh, dip pen. So just a quarter is good enough uh, so you will s uh, the ink will be softened and it will be much easier to uh, clean uh, your nib pen. So when you have uh, uh, finished the uh, one quarter, half an hour, whatever, uh, you take your uh, uh, dip pen from the water and then you try to clean it. From the back side and the upside, maybe you will see some uh, soap here. Uh, you try to clean it as much as you can. As I told you before, you don't have to uh, to do much out because it will never clean totally. Okay. If uh, if uh, your water is full of soap here, then. Uh, you can uh, take all your nib, uh, all your nibs together, and um, uh, 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 clean them with uh, fresh water. Or you can have another one pot in here with fresh water, and you put it in here to put to put off uh, the um, liquid soap. Again, this one. You see, this is a single nib. It doesn't have any reservoir. So you clean it just like this from all the sides. You see here the soap on the pen.
This is uh, what we do with the um, symbol nibs, uh, also the William Mitchell nibs, uh, which have a, a separate reservoir. And then you clean, you pull off the reservoir, and you clean also the reservoir as you do it uh, with uh, uh, the nib pen. But if you have um, tape uh, nibs or uh, browser nibs uh, or other kind of nibs which have um, the reservoir on here, then you can do two things. The first one is to leave the reservoir as it is. The other is to pull off the reservoir. I never pull off the reservoir because um, from the factory they have uh, fitted so well and each time I have pulled it off uh, I can never um, replace it again the same way and the same good way. So I prefer to put it uh, on and let it on uh, the nib when uh, I clean it. So, but uh, that's why uh, the brush, uh, the toothbrush it helps me to clean it here so I clean it from the back side and the upside and if I want to clean it the reservoir I just open it you see here I open it and with the uh, toothbrush I clean it in here as as well as much well as I can I will do it another one time with another. Of course, you don't need uh, to have uh, this pot. You can go uh, to the bathroom and uh, do this uh, uh, this uh, cleaning while the water falls. Okay, so I have finished now. Now I have this napkin and I have to dry because if I uh, leave the water on the nib pens, I will destroy them. I will uh, dry them as much as I can and then uh, you can uh, uh, let them next to a window with fresh air and they will dry also so I have my pen here my nib my pen nib and again here and now here I have the reservoir which I have to clean it inside here so I open it as much as I can and I pass the napkin inside you see and I clean it and again here clean my nibs so um, that was the lesson for today don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, I have some uh, new videos every week uh, with uh, various things about calligraphy fountain pens uh, letter improvement and all this uh, so don't forget to subscribe and also next to the subscribe button there is uh, the ring bell uh, when you click on it uh, YouTube will inform you when I upload uh, some uh, new videos. So, Nick, until next time, bye bye.